Welcome to Indie Resources' first video on C Sharp. This is Halls of Valhalla. I know this comes as a surprise to some of you, be, me making a C Sharp video, because normally I do web based languages, PHP, JavaScript, things like that. But here lately I've been getting a ton of, ever since I said I was, you know, learning.net and, and getting deeper into it, especially C Sharp, I've had a lot of people say, hey, can you make some videos? Even if they're simple videos, um, just make some. And I, I kind of wanted to do that, um, just just as a first kind of a um, disclaimer. I'm not a professional in C Sharp. I'm not a professional in .NET. I I can use it. I can make things with it. I can make games with it. And but but I'm not a super professional. <laughs> These videos are geared for complete beginners who want to learn it. And if if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I know. Um, finding good videos that start from the absolute beginner and don't start that don't start you know going into, into head headstrong into things to where you just totally get lost within the first video have become really hard to find and that's what I try to do I want to make some videos that are literally from a beginner's point um, easiest possible way to do it and you're actually making something you want to make um, like a game that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna focus on um, I know there's other good C to C sharp tutorials out there um, I've seen a couple of them, but even then, even when I watch them, they they really they either assume too much or they don't assume enough. And I just kind of want to make these videos to kind of uh, put my own twist or spin and try to help people learn C sharp because just like you used to be when somebody mentioned classes, constructs, uh, methods, anything like that, I was like, whoa, I'm lost, I'm instantly lost. I can't understand these. I can't get my head wrapped around them. And um, what I learned to do is I actually started building console applications, just straight DOS prompt applications. And as much as I hated it, as much as I was like, oh, there's no graphics here, I'm telling you that helped me more than anything else. It helped me wrap my head around uh, things that I just couldn't figure out before because I started from the beginning. So if you're coming here hoping to build a super XNA game instantly, you might as well forget it because you're not going to do that anywhere. You need to start from the very beginning. It's not going to take long. Um, I'm not going to plan a whole bunch of videos around this console application type game, but what you do need to go through it. Trust me, it will help things click much easier than jumping into a headlong graphical game. This this is not like a normal game engine where you just pop graphics in. You're actually having to write the code around them. So this this is the simplest way to do it. Um, from learning from my <laughs> my other tutorials, uh, there's a couple things I want to go over in this introductory video. First off, IndieResource.com. That's our site. I'm not trying to promote it to get. I don't make any money off this site. This isn't about that. This is about trying to keep everything in one place. Um, if you have questions, don't private message me. In other words, questions about code or whatever else. Don't question. Don't ask them on YouTube. Come to Indie Resource because we have tons of people on here that know .NET language, they know C Sharp, they know tons of web languages, um, some some of the developer best developers, especially behind game design and game mechanics and putting them into code, all reside right here. Um, this is one of the, this is the best community I've ever been a part of. You can uh, put your questions in anywhere, you know, wherever they fit here and they you know, I've seen very few questions go unanswered here. And it's a, if you if you message me, uh, I may not read it, I may not see it. I've got tons of mess people messaging me all the time. I don't often have time to, to answer it. I'll try to answer it on the forums, but if I can't get to it, at least somebody else can. So make sure the number one thing to get out of this first video is go to Indie Resource. Become part of the community. It's it's really cool. There's a lot of games there and, and things like that, that that people are working on. Um, don't and and here's here's another point I want everybody to get. I'm not a professional C sharp uh, programmer. I'm not attempting to be. I'm not trying to be. But one thing I know I can do is I can help other people learn it, and that's what I'm after. If you're prof if you're if you've been in, doing C sharp for the past couple of years, there's no reason for you to even watch these videos. There's nothing in here that you'll probably get out of them that you don't already know. Um, if you're a complete beginner, and or maybe you just know just a little bit, then these videos, then these tutorials are for you. Um, so don't leave bad comments on YouTube. I'm just going to delete them. It's not that I can't take um, criticism. I just I'm so sick of the negativity on YouTube. I just don't put up with it. I'll delete it. Um, and, and you know, if if you got suggestions or things I did wrong, then please post them. Please post them on the forums. I have no problem with that. Just don't 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 be negative. Which I'm lucky. I haven't had that many on my videos. I would I could probably count them all on one hand how many negative posts I've had or, or comments. But Anyway, this first video is not is not really any code. I just want to do an introduction so everybody knows to to go here, um, 
post all your questions. Um, you can you can catch me on MSN or not my you know, MSN Messenger, and every now and then I'm on you, uh, YouTube or Skype. Um, also, the um, if you need Microsoft Visual Studio, then go to Microsoft's website and get it there. I'm not going to show you guys how to do it. Just type in Visual Studio. There's a free edition. It's Express Edition. I think everybody knows how to get it. If not, go there, download it, and you'll be good to go. It's totally free, so all this is going to be free. And I say again, we're going to start with the console application. We're going to make it just a little quick text-based game. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. And then we're going to move on to maybe some graphical Windows forms and even some XNA. But it all depends on where we go with this because comments usually drive, comments from before usually drive the, the new videos. And for those of you watching my other video tutorials, I'm still continuing those. Um, I still got new videos for the RTS, uh, browser-based RTS and the browser-based MMO. So with that, let's move on to the next video.